Evening. <clears throat> Alright. Just make sure I'm not losing any frames, which I'm not. Uh, hang on, got a picture for some reason. Thinking kind of why? Hey, happy days. Um, let's have a game of Tough Turf, which is a new game on yet. So you can beat map, it looks a little bit like uh, Double Dragon, which I' not sure if I've ever played it. Finally, the Sega Corners had uh, some updates as well, so um, I wonder if fixed bullet. Ah, so it's for Sunsoft and Sega. Interesting. Definitely looks like Double Dragon, though. Do, 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 do. May have played it. it definitely looks like Double Dragon. Especially our guy holding the bat. De -de -de -de. Right. Uh, why am I got a menu button? Yeah, where's my menu button not working? Oh, I know why it's not working. Hang on. Joystick's got to be in PS3 mode. I probably should just set it up in PS4 mode. Uh, tough, tough. Do, 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 do. Better. Uh, so we've got punch, kick, jump, start, uh, time, core credits. Go. Wait up, give it a try. <laughs> I thought it was going to start with the garbage in. Two buttons together and he ducks down. Alright, oh, so that's like a duck. Alright, oh, no, that's pick up actually. Okay. Got nice high heel shoes on though, if you notice. <laughs> Once again, to do the kick. Nope, you're not going to get behind me. Oh, you get. There you go. I don't know why he's wearing high heel shoes though, which is a bit weird.
nice. That works. Okay, this is quite interesting. Go. No, 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 no. You ain't gonna get behind me. Trying to get behind me for ages. My right, jump kick's not particularly very good. Oh, he's a swine he is. Come to be in my life, this guy. Right, Bill. I even did. I was going. How's was life? Trying out a new game. Uh, this game called Tough Turf. Yeah, it's definitely like Double Dragons. Very, very similar. Sega Sunsoft, which is quite unusual. Oh, I thought he'd have to jump up in there then. Definitely got that um, double dragon vibe. I think this is actually much better quality though. It doesn't seem to have any slowdown. Or anything like that. Right, can I, can I pick it up instead? Can you uh, throw a weapon? Nope. Throw a weapon. Oh well, I'll have to have this. on screen it becomes a bit of a problem. No no you're not gonna get behind me. Ah No I, I don't think I've played this before either. Let's have a look what options we've got any uh what service mode options we got. Oh I can't move now, great. Nope, can't do anything. Uh, let's try reset with the service mode on. I don't know whether I've crashed it now, I think. 
Uh, okay, let's load it again. <laughs> You've been hung over watching uh, Star Wars, uh, Star Wars uh, episodes, you? That's the way. <laughs> Perfect, they're quite long as well, mate, so uh, you just sit down and watch them. You change the options to crashes, like. Alright, okay. Ah, I noticed some dip switches at the bottom. Hang on. You don't want to last too much, view. Right, okay. Chuck continue. Oh, Alright, you can actually. We continue. Difficulty normal. Starting NG6. What's that going to? Okay, not much. Do -do -do -do. Bonus NG2. After. Right, here we go. Right. So it's uh, starting NG6, but it gives you 8. I think weapons are definitely a good way in this game. My looper. Yo. Yo. You chain them quite nicely when they get up. Even down to us, good. Sneaky trying to get behind me. Called Tough Tooth. I've never seen it before. It's a Sega Sunsoft arcade game. Obviously, it was an answer to Double Dragon, but it was the look of it. Unless this came out before Double Dragon, which I severely doubt it. Oh, you played this game, Boo. Welcome as well, I made us a gun. Oh, right, okay, that's cool. Ah. Yeah, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen it. Go. Yeah, it's definitely got that Sega Passy look. I think a lot of the System 16 games have got this sort of pass through look, haven't they? I think that was uh, Sega's thing.
Yeah, sort of, yeah. I suppose they got Sunsoft to probably do the music. I wonder if Sunsoft actually made it and Sega were just... Oh, you can jump up from there as well. I wonder if Sega um, had anything to do with it. Spike even. I can go for the spike even. Yeah, if you got some balls, why you wearing that uh, shirt and tie and those uh, high heel shoes? Rebounds as well. Ah, oh, these guys are hard. That's it. They're fast as well. Yeah, there is no elbow and nothing. Yeah, you're right. I've tried looking for one, there isn't. Yeah, the elbow is definitely OP, in it? <laughs> That's brilliant, the elbow is on Double Dragon. Looks happy, that dude. Not anymore. I like the way you keep your weapon, even after the level. That's cool. Right, have we got any, like, hazards? This way, someone's just gonna come out there and hit me. Like a double dragon. Fly kick again. Mm -hmm. I don't want to grab it, I'll probably fall off. Oh god, here we go, hazards. Okay, that's not too bad to jump over. Jumping in Double Dragon is hideous, isn't it? Oh no! Right. Ah, punk! Let's go! Yeah, come on, walk down here. I'm gonna hit you off if you come down here. Are they gonna come down here? Ah, you, you shit. Oh, I couldn't pick it up. I'll do the free continues.
Oh, that was the end as well. Yeah. I've said this, you can only continue three times. Definitely weapons are the way to go in this. <laughs> you busted. Oh, you can still hit me. Ah. Hype it then. Have a, yeah, you do have a time, it's up at top. I just wonder whether you had a time out. Okay, he's been sneaky. Ooh, what a sneaky kick. I wonder if you fight each other at the end. If you're playing, if you're playing doubles. Like... You can use that. That's a big dodge. Oh, you bastard. He's smart, that guy. He doesn't. Uh, he moves out the way when he gets up. <laughs> yeah, that'd be quite funny. <laughs> they both have the fight at the end. What do you reckon? Remember the first time I beat uh, Double Dragon in doubles, it was just like, what the hell? Why did it end it? You gotta fight each other. <laughs> Don't seem to pick up any NG pickups on this. It's literally you've got that, the eight hits and that's it. <laughs> Can I jump up here? No. Music's pretty decent as well. Come on, come up here. Come on. Oh, 
Oh, you kid. <laughs> go behind there. Eh? Oh, you can. No. Yeah, he's going in there. Eh? Come on. No, no, come down here. Come on. That's it. Walk down here. Come on. No, not that way. Not that way. Stuff it too. What do you reckon? That looks like a great too, can it? Oh, you can go behind it. Ah. Oh. I'm in trouble now. Do an head button. Yeah, I did. Oh, you shit. Ah, you shit. Says I made it up here. Corner's quite handy with it. All right, that's us good. Welcome to the room. We're playing Tough Turf that came out this week on Mister Sega's um, Sunsoft game, which uh, I've, I've never played before. That guy's crazy. You bastard. Oh, you've seen this, have you? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I'm okay, thanks, mate. It's all good. Yeah, I'm not sure if it had a different name. You'd have to look it up, basically. Nobody with that jump kick. Yo! Yo! Oh, that was the wrong button.
See, jump kick's useless. See, now I just hit somebody. That's a shame I didn't pick that up. Three blips of energy left, and you can't seem to get any extra energy, so. Right, they can. Oh, I thought they couldn't hit me yet. Oh! Oh god, they got me in a loop. Okay. A weapon is tricky. I got oh, no, I got one more credit. Maybe that is actually useful. Dodging and stabbing, isn't he? Oh, I, I was dodging and stabbing. Ah, come on. Oh, come on, you bastards. <laughs> Man, it's tricky without a weapon. Yeah, sort of. It's definitely Double Dragon, uh, sort of... Um... I, don't, I can't think of the bloody word. Jesus, my head's gone. Inspired, that's all over. All right, retro arms, go, mate. Come on, Bob, let's go. Yeah, there's probably loads of goodies to be made for Fortnite. <laughs> This is one of them, but it, I don't think it can, I couldn't get it to come down with the order updates. I had to get the files. Oh, okay, they gotta be a little bit more sneaky with these guys. Down, down, down. I was hoping he wouldn't get me in. Ah, they got a good reach in, the guys. Oh, you monsters. Ah, <laughs> oh, no. They do trap you quite nicely when there's a couple of them. At least they will hit the other players. Oh, you... Just don't reach. Ah. No, you can't. There's no elbow. Unlike Double Dragon. Let's have a look at... Um... Let's have a look. Uh, did he have a different name in Japan? Go. Tough to have. Um, sent off. Tough 
F2, here we go, let's have a look. That was developed uh, by Sunsoft and Sega, and published by Sega in Japan, and by Sumsoft in uh, America, interesting, so they did, they did develop it between them then. Okay, beat him up. Don't say much else about it, basically. Doesn't say it has a different name. There is a Japanese character here, so maybe they did have a different name in Japan, but it's, it's unreadable, basically. Uh, let's have a look. References. Two players. Does it mention anything about the end? Push mention the combinations. I push in these buttons, individual and combinations. Oh, hang on. Might have some uh, hit bits here. Alright, here's the control system. There's a two attack on the defensive kit. Go! Okay, so broke bottles. Okay. Nope, didn't have anything there really. What else did it say? Uh, come on, uh, Nineties. Uh, it's just the game requires a different approach. Alternative to double. Yeah, it is pretty much an alternative to double dragon. I would say. No. No, I didn't say much about it on wiki. Can't be that much information about it. What do you say in there? What's going on in chat? Um, they didn't mention anything. They just meant uh, the US and um, Japan. Let me just double check that. Yeah, Sega released it in Japan and Sunsoft released it in America. So it didn't say that it had a um, European release. I mean, it didn't come here, I suppose, but. Um, sort of hardcore, hardcore 101, did he know anything more about it? No, there's not that much information about it. Final fight. Yeah, final fight was very well refined, wasn't it? Final fight's quite a uh, cunning beat em up. Yeah, I've, I've just, I used to like these games as well. See if I can get one from one uh, one crate. I'm not sure what year this came out either, actually. What if we got to do combinations? Yeah, you have. It's not actually that fast, actually. Yo. It's a little bit basic on moves, and the, the normal fight moves are not actually that great. Oh. Come on. Need a pipe or something, man. Definitely makes this easier. I know uh, it's default to normal. This one does. We had a look at the dip switches. Oh. 
I haven't checked the difficulty actually on the other um, System 16 games. They default to hard, do they? Streets of Rage 1 or Final Fight? Streets of Rage 1 is good, but it's, it's not as well refined as Final Fight. Not at all. Street of Age 2 is, I suppose, is where it was at running with the Street of Age games. That's really, they really improved on the first one. Not to say the first one was bad, but it was really good the first one, but the second one was pretty much a massive improvement. Yeah, Street of Age, I remember having it in the day and loving it, but um, yeah, the second game is a lot better. But. I wouldn't compare that to Final Fight, the first one, not at all. There's, uh, there's a lot of tactics to Final Fight and managing the enemies and like if you put Street of Rage 2 on the hardest level it's quite you've you got the same sort of tactics with that as well you've really got to manage the, the enemies ah, so they can hit me up here That's, that's going to be a problem. I'm going to get with you, I think. Ah, oh, come on. that good to find the fight either. It's quite an odd game. No, I definitely go with that. Come on, punk, let's go. Come on, punk. Yeah, yeah, I know where you're going. You're trying to get behind me. Did you don't get any NG pickups, mind? Ah, oh, Circle of Moon. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Yeah, it's good. It's a bit weird that collection there because it's got the bloody SNES one on the Dracula X, which is, I suppose, it's a nice bonus, but not the Vans collection, I suppose, if it's got that on it. Not for complaining. But yeah, it's good. Um, I definitely the best game on that collection is um, Ariola Sorrow. That's an amazing game, guys. 
the others are good as well, mate. You guys um, seen uh, Actraiser? I'll pause it a minute. Seen, seen Actraiser? Whatever you do, don't buy it. It's dreadful. It's, um, it doesn't look the best, but I can live with the graphics. Uh, the music is fantastic on it, but it, it scrolls dreadful. It's really bad. Loads of screen tearing, uh, really bad choppy scrolling. It's really badly made. Massive shame. I can't believe, i got to be honest, I, I can't believe Square, Square Enix, apparently they didn't make it, but I can't believe they, they, will, they chucked it out in that state. It's really bad. I literally, I can't play it. Oh, they've improved the bitrate of it. Ooh, that's nice. The music, uh, the music on those games is good as well, so if it's got better bitrate, that's, uh, that's a nice little bonus. Check the other one to come down, you know. Nice. Yeah, an Actraiser. There's a new one just being released. It came out of nowhere. Actraiser uh, Renaissance, uh, which is basically like a remake of the original Actraiser game. It's it's got like rendered graphics. They're not the best graphics, but I I could live with it. The music is redone by Yuzo Koshiro, as he did the original music anyway, but he's redone all the music and remixed it, and it is pretty excellent. But uh, the game is rough. No. No, it's 2D. They use cheap effects as well. Um, if you look at the backgrounds, like on one of the backgrounds, there's loads of trees, and it looks like the trees are swaying. But if you have a look at it, they're not swaying. All they've done is they've, they're warping the background. So they, they're stretching the background to make it look like the trees are swaying. Which, okay, I could live with that, but it's the scrolling that does my head in on it. It's really choppy. It's, um, I've played the PC one, and the PC one's bad. And um, the Switch version from the videos I've seen is even worse. It was 25 quid as well. Get it. I love Actraiser as well, that's a really cool game. <laughs> ah, I'm just trying to get it. Yeah, Nintendo, Nintendo announced it on their um, direct um, on. Uh, Thursday, Thursday, and late Thursday night, and it literally just dropped straight away, and dropped on PC. But uh, I just, I just can't be your bad is. It's like um, the world has forgotten how to make smooth 2D games now. We'd have forgotten how to use to make a D-pad. That happened for a while, and uh, now they've forgotten how to make things scroll smooth in 2D. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, the, the CD album's wicked, isn't it? Yeah, hopefully they'll patch it, but um, I don't know if they were willing to check it out in that state. I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't guarantee it. They were obviously quite happy to check it out in that state. I just can't believe how rough it is. Please, all right. It's just incredibly, it's just incredibly rough looking. People apparently, from what I've heard, they're giving it a pass because um, the music is so good on it, which is, is stupid really, because you're basically telling these companies that you're willing to accept that. That's acceptable, like. Have a look it up, like when you get five, have a look it up on, um, on YouTube. It's not very good. 
Put it this way, the original SNES game, if you're gonna play it, play that. That's far better quality. People didn't like that Battletoads remake, did they? But it does look quality. I, I know a lot of people didn't like the cartoon look of it, but I, don't know, I thought it looked quite nice. And it was nice and smooth, and they'd spent a lot of time on the graphics. If people just didn't like the art style on it, uh, that is so much better looking. <laughs> yeah, I love Actraiser as well. I, I really like the sim bits as well, but oh God, it's, it's rough. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, Battletoads remake. I I know it doesn't. It didn't look. It does look like a Saturday morning cartoon. But I think he did a very good job of it. But yeah, just people just don't like. They just hate the art style of it. Well, they put a lot of work into it. There's hell of a lot of animation and stuff into it. I, I think it was it was well made. It's just people didn't like the art style. Right, come back there. That's that's quite interesting. I don't think any of an arcade calls came out. I don't think so, anyway. Um. Anyway, I know we're talking about Actraiser. Eh? Let's have a go with Actraiser on the SNES. I can't be playing that new one. Shite. <laughs> There's one Flash graphics game. They remade Wonder Boy. And it's not so much a remake. I think they've added stuff to it. And it looks like a Flash game. And I, I didn't buy it, basically. But I played it on my mates a couple of weeks ago, and it's actually pretty nice. I wasn't expecting it. It actually, in when you actually see it and you're playing it, it plays nice, and it, it actually does look quite nice. And that just looks like a flash game as well. But when you're actually playing it, it's pretty good. Uh, where's that crazy? Hmm. Uh, why wouldn't that be in the? Oh, okay. Why wouldn't that be in the uh, that section? It's not in there either. Oh, yes, it is. No, it's actually it's a two. I don't play that. I know sometimes sometimes it's hit and miss. I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, Soul Blazer was, was good. Terra Enigma, I, I tried to play through it a couple of times and and give up. But, but yeah, it really makes it be nice. But if, if they're going to ruin the image of the originals, I, I, you know, I find it hard to see the point in them if they're going to do that. Is Actraiser just called Actraiser? It is, isn't it? But why isn't it on yet? It's not called the Actraiser. Violins that have. Uh, okay. Why the hell is not on you? Okay, I'll just play the European one then. It's in 60 anyway, so I suppose it doesn't matter. <laughs> I 
I will say the new Sonic Colors, the remake of that, actually looks pretty decent. No, this is the um, PAL version. For some reason, it's not on the bloody EverDrive. They did do a US version. As long as it went to 6 so it didn't really matter, is it? See, the remake of this should have been nice. It's got nice, you know, sort of like menus and stuff. Yeah, I can't be dealing with that. No, it's just not letterbox. We're all good. Now we got a black screen. Why have we got a black screen? Good start. Why have we got a black screen? Uh, I wonder if that ROM doesn't work. Okay, it doesn't work. Wonder if that's something to do with we playing on 60 hertz. Um, let's have a look. Super system. Eh? Why have I got Super System Arcade? Okay. Is there a translation version of it? Play the retranslation there. Let's see if that works. Yeah, as long as it's 60 hertz, it's fine. Now, I can, I can play PAL games as long as you can switch them to 60 hertz. As long as you do that, that's great. Yeah, Street Space 4 is actually really nice. I, I think that does look very nice, and it, it plays really good as well. It is well made. The uh, new update for it looks really good as well. You're awake, my Lord Tuna. I am the angel who will help you. Ah. The Dark Lord Satan. You stole all your power. Power. Yeah, Street Fighter 4 is, is, is good. I play that quite a bit. That's interesting then. So doesn't Actraiser work properly on the uh, the Mister? That's bad. That's a Japanese version as well. Um, is there anything we can change? Well, well. Uh, let's have a look. Multi passing a scope, no. Channel VRAM. Let's do a um, SNES 1 then. Let's see what that happens. Let's try the uh, PAL one again. Very strange if this don't work. I should call myself Lord Tuna, Lord Tuna. <laughs> or Spartacus, and I keep saying, uh, I'm Spartacus and you're all my bitches. That'd be quite funny. <laughs> um, actually, I bought Fighting Rage earlier. At the moment, it's on Steam for something like £1.50, with 90% off. So I actually picked it up on Steam earlier. It's a bargain now. That, that is a cool game as well. It, it looks... Okay. That's weird. I am Tuan. Better. Oh, you've done the one CC, nice. Yeah, it's it's a it's got weird graphics, haven't it? Weird characters and stuff, but it, it's a really well made, well put together beat 'em up. The people who made that really knew about beat 'em ups, I think. Nobody's done that. We're only failing to watch this. 
Spanish tuna. Tuan. Yeah, he really knew his stuff, didn't he? Does it work? Well, well. Find a game that don't work on Mister. It's crazy. SD snare, let's try that. Well, that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? It doesn't play Actraiser. Why am I in 50 hertz? Can't be dealing with 50 hertz. Sorry. So that's the one it's normally on. Uh, let's just see if I can get it working. Anyway. Right, come on, being 60, I can't be dealing with 50 because 50 is rough. <laughs> yeah, maybe do a reset. You might be right. <laughs> we'll try it now. If it don't work this time. Trying to play a game hack the other day. If you, if this don't work, I'm, I'll have a go with something else. I gotta I know something else I can think of. Okay, we'll try a restart. Yeah, I think the, the mini tends to play. I think because em emulators tend to probably work most things, don't they? Even hacks and stuff. Arise, sir, tuna. Arise, we build grave. Um, right, we'll try it after a reboot. If this don't work, I've got a new ROM which I've patched lately, which I wouldn't actually mind playing through. I have beaten the game before, but not on the uh, not on the Mega Drive, and the the Mega Drive version well, is pretty nice. Right, okay. Come in, me once more. If it don't work, we'll swap games. <laughs> That's weird. This don't work though. Very strange. Ooh, maybe it was a reset. Do I call my fans? Don't know. I haven't thought about it. Maybe call them two net or something. I've <laughs> just some fish name, I reckon. Please take the destination for the commands. Okay. Right, I want to go there. Tuna school could be. Oh, I like it. I like what you're saying there. Is there an abbreviation for a bunch of tuners? Half of a school. People will be able to live here again. So, tuna, are you ready? Mm, yes. Here we go. <laughs> Good music this game, Joel. Right, the buttons are probably all over the place because it's SNES, so this would be interesting. Yeah, awkward position, but we'll, we'll, we'll deal with it. The new music's really good. Almost dead, ready?
No, I don't want to go there yet because I can pick it up yet. When you play back in this version, it does have a little bit of delay. It's my school of tuners. I just get here then. No, it's gonna go to waste. Oh well. Half the platform sections of this game are rough. This was the first game I had for uh, my Super Famicom as well. I like this game a lot. Finished the Japanese version. Okay, there we go. Ah, the monkey things. I did put a lot of time into this one. Try it again now, so I died. Don't think I am ready. Yeah, it's got a little bit of delay, haven't it, to the um, buttons and that when you go back. I did see Actraiser 2. That, that game is solid. I think it's ridiculously expensive these days as well. Anyway, can I? Oh, I've stuck it down there as well. Yeah, do you want? Do you want? I think the actual remake does actually play a little bit better. I was pulling down there as well. Ah, this has got it. Ah, right, okay. This has got four-way controls. That's bad. I'm pulling down diagonal forward there as well. <laughs> That's why I can't duck down. It's got four-way controls. I'm going to have to be a little bit careful in pulling down. I'm dead.
Yeah, you got to be careful not to push um, down diagonal. I got to remember this guy. Keeps doing that. No more it. Actually on a train, that's quite cool. Never know, it might be great. Maybe they've got 5G on the train. I used to love these bits. Actually, i got to be honest, I used to like these bits more than the action bits. So, if I go back out to the memory... Um, autosave, if I put autosave back on, this might be a good idea. Do 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 do. instructor piece uh, with the land of the monsters. Yeah, to get the little guys to build, you know, and then kill the little monster things. The people are filming us. Something to tell you. Huh. My master. Sound like something about Star Wars here. That is my master. Uh, I didn't think about the building. So sorry, shouting at him. Ultimate power! Right, okay. Uh, right, that's cancelled. That's right, you got to direct them to their avenue. So basically, uh, build a direction. Oh, I, don't, I can't remember what I do it now. How do you do it? Let's listen. Building direction. No, I want to move them. Take an offering, no miracles, lightning, rain. Right, which button is it? That's the question. I don't know which button it is. All ah, right, it's that button. Right, okay. <laughs> Gotta burn some bushes. Right, so it's that button. So, they hopefully... I think you just get them up to there, from what I remember, and they, uh... I have something to tell him. Oh, okay. Hunting animals. We now have enough uh, confidence to fight monsters. Nice. Please just leave the monsters there. Right, okay. Can I. Yeah, I've already done that, haven't I? So. 
Oh shit, I take them out. Nice. Strange stretch here. Okay, okay, I don't feel if he's accepted. I will, thank you very much. You gotta praise your uh, your god. Give me stuff. And virgins and things like that. They do that? I don't. Do you do that, Liz? Offer virgins to your god. No thanks, I have got something to tell you. Okay, well, they tell me this thing. Things have been happening to me. Many of the thoughts have actually come from the real world. Something the holy VD in from the woods, east of here, okay? Right, I gotta go over there, haven't I? Attacking my people, sort it out. Remember, these levels get increasingly harder with more uh, monsters. Oh god, you're on fire. It's all going to shit. We send the rain. We shall send the rain. It's my thing. So I'm just thinking the other way, right? How did they manage to set the house on fire? What's all that about? Oh god, he fried his house. That was naughty. One down here? Yeah, there is one down there. I feel those have been improved. Nice. Do you remember that episode of uh, Futurama where um, Bender flies into space and he has this whole uh, civilization on him that he builds up? Reminds me of this game. <laughs> he's like floating through space and he? he's got these like uh, little bugs on him and they turn into this like mini sort of like person uh, civilization. And he has to send in floods and stuff, and he turns over to the sun and fries all the fields and everything. <laughs> I'm alright, but yeah, I'm all good. I am back in work, yeah. Um, I've only been in once. They're trying to get me uh, in full time, but uh, I'm having none of it. <laughs> Quite funny, though. When I was uh, doing a support job from the house, when it all kicked off, they told me I couldn't work from the house because that's not my job, even though I was doing shitloads of course. And uh, they argued with me, tried to get me back in, and in the end, they they basically uh, lost that battle. Now I've actually got the support job and I can work from the house. They're telling me that I can't do the job from the house. Brilliant. I was laughing when they told me. Yeah, you have got to be careful. Right, can I move again? Ah, right, I've got to destroy these trees, haven't I? Okay. Um, lightning? How does this feel? It's rocks, bushes. Let's burn those bushes. Yeah, so apparently I, I can't work from the house. I can't do the job from the house. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, that's only problem. Unfortunately, we are all going to get in. We. It's inevitable, no, unfortunately. It's just when and where and how long you can stay without getting in it. Like I said, I'll probably end up picking it up off somebody or going shopping, somebody will walk past me, I'll end up picking it up. Don't look forward to the day it happens, mate, but it is, I suppose it's inevitable it is going to happen. Come on, you're almost down there. One down here. No, okay. Congratulations, your level has increased. Yeah, there is uh, an adventure game I want to play through. I, I wouldn't mind playing through East Free on the uh, Mega Drive. That's the game I was talking about. I've repatched it with a translation and some fixes, and it seems rather nice. Yeah, they are right for it. I've um, heard of a school... Where was it? I think it was uh, Mysicummer School. Uh, they've been sending people home as well in the last week or two. Just going through it. That's what's going to happen now, isn't it? That's the thing. Oh, we will cry the new skills of bridges. Right, okay. Bridges next. I suppose your job is going to the schools as well, isn't it? So uh, it'll be a bit hard for you to avoid it. Thing. Kids just, you know, just kids and they, they spread it around, bump around each other, then bugger away masks because they're kids. Oh, I said to all the monsters. Civilization never seems to have improved. Huh. Right, what do they want to say to me this time? Oh, they still offer it as well, are they? Yeah, my, my mate is. Um, his sister works in a school. Uh, she caught it. Her family, her kids, and her husband got it. Then he got it, and his mother got it. And they just spread between them because of the kids. You know, like I said, it's not their fault. It's just kids, and it's just. The nature of how viruses spread around, isn't it? Basically, curse of people to death because of the abilities to eat into the future. It feels like I'm already affected by the monster's curse. He's my master. Right, that's the second level open up. Yeah, I'm unlike it again and again, but once. Yeah. Right done. It's thinky that. <laughs> Do you get saves on this? I can't remember. Did it auto save? How do we call it? Right, okay. If I go out to the menu now, we should auto save. Cool. Happy days. Yeah, it's just you know, it's just the nature of things. That's how things work, don't they? You know. No, they don't. Unfortunately. No, that's right. Yep, it's just spreading around. There's not a huge amount you can do about it, unfortunately.
Yeah, I remember the second level was even harder. The new one, when you actually kill the little monster bases, you get like a, a one screen level where you've got to go in and actually kill the monster and like egg sack. Which is quite cool they added that to it. I hope they fix a new one with lots of people complaining about it. So it's, it's at the point now where, you know, you're not going to get rid of it. It's never going away. We are stuck with it. I was hoping I did that with my sword then. down on an eight-way stick is uh, can be a little bit awkward. I should have carried on it in a minute. Yeah, it was. This game is brilliant for an early game. Like I said, it was the first game I had, and I, you know, I loved it. I think it does show his age a little bit now. With um, it is a little, it is not quite so good to play, but so good though. I know there is a quick kill on this boss. <laughs> oh, God, that was funny. I thought something like that would happen as well. Oh. I think if you time out right, you can follow him. Yeah, supermarkets are uh, something you can't you can't really avoid. You can obviously everyone touching everything. <laughs> Who knows? Like I say, you, you you could end up getting it off somebody, or you could end up just picking up in the supermarket. Who knows? Oh god, yeah. Kids uh, don't care about um, being hygienic. They? That's how you get your immunity, essentially. <laughs> spend, you spend uh, quite a few, like you said, licking floors and eating crap and bumping into each other and various things like that, and then uh, your immune system <laughs> builds up. Uh, nature, nature is work.
Maybe that's what we should all do. Start eating dirt, get that immune system back. I know there's definitely a pattern you can do on this boss to follow in. Alright. Oh, you bastard. I did better the first time. He jumped on that all in. It's just easy enough to get to him. So if he sticks in that pan, we'll we'll go with that. Might be a bit slow, but I don't care. Time out a bit better. Yeah, that was too close to him. Probably get in there a bit quicker, but I remember the last boss being a bit of a nightmare on this. Well, that was quite nice. Take the easy route. <laughs> Should piss on the answer sterilizing before using door handles. You run this sterile when it comes out. This don't last for too long. Windows on buses and trains taste nice though, don't they? That's the thing. Uh, I think it is, yeah. 
Yeah, that's right. You got statues. I'm new. You got statues looking at you, and you got to fight the bosses as you go around. I remember it being quite difficult. I crapped out earlier, did I? Yeah. That is quite odd. <laughs> Diddle ding ding. Uh, can I save it now? Nice. Yeah, I, I, I remember... I do remember the last bosses on us being, being difficult. Wrong button. The button layout is not ideal. For the joystick, anyway. Uh, where's the first? Oh, okay. Right, I think I'll go there. I've also got to do some lightning. They um, speed run this a lot, but they don't speed run this bit. It's just basically the um, the platform sections. I see it on Twitch quite often. There's quite a few runners of it. Uh, something to tell you. Okay, what are they going to say? Yeah, you've used the uh, rain magic once. Stop this guy's burning the houses down. Uh, I've got a problem with the. Oh, yeah, he dies, doesn't he? You gotta, I remember this bit. Such a silly matter. I'm sure that um, Futurama episode is based off this. I think it came out after this. I, 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 I do like these games better. The, this, this version of this game better. These bits are really cool. Ba -ba -da -ba. These bits on the new one are not too bad when it comes to scrolling, but the platform seconds are the hideous. Come on, you're almost there. Stop building. Take out the monsters first. I I love SimCity on the uh, SNES. I really like the SNES version. <laughs> the SNES version is really good fun. I do quite... I don't mind a sim game every now and then. Sims are quite like real-time strategy games as well. Anyone see that uh, Nintendo Direct they did? Wasn't that great. I gotta admit, Bayonetta 3 looks worse than Bayonetta 2. On the Wii U. That looks quite nice. There is a card game coming out, though. A card adventure game. Might be interesting. I found out earlier, it's um, it's literally out in a month's time. And if, you, if you've got Steam on your PC, you can um, there's a demo of it. So I might give that a try. 
Yukataro did it, so the guy from like Nia who did Nia and things like that. So he's got a hand in it, so uh, it might be interesting. Have to grow crops called wheat. Oh. I produce wheat. Okay. Let's clear some land in a minute. Yeah, they didn't show. They they showed Chocobo Racing, which meh. I didn't look anywhere near as good as uh, Mario Kart. So I can't see that doing that great. There still is a couple of Switch games I actually want before Christmas. Which, um... Uh, there was one of you on who bought um, Mario Golf. I can't remember who it was now. If it was one of you in the chat, uh, have you been playing it? Like, as this was about a month or two after it came out, just still playing it? Or. Fancy it? But I didn't get around to buying it. Okay, we got it. Get that going. Ah, sorry, you turn this uh, lake uh, blue in the end. Yeah, being at a one or two in the Wii is really good. I, I ha I've only played the second one a little bit. It, it seems great, to be honest. But the, the new one, it doesn't look as good. It looks like a massive downgrade. Maybe it's just early in development or something, but yeah, it doesn't look the best. Uh, right, so if I use the sun, if I remember rightly. Cool. They had um, a Kirby game there as well, in full-on 3D, which I don't think they've ever done before with Kirby. Yeah, it might be alright, maybe not, I don't know. Uh, right, what am I doing? Right, okay, so you've only played it twice. I love Mario Golf on the Cube as well. It was one of those things that had two ways to play it, didn't it? You, you could either do the simple option, which was really easy to play, or you could do the more complicated option. It, it was actually quite a cool golf game when you used that version. Yeah, I wouldn't mind it. I, I, I'm, like I said, I haven't got plans to buy it for Christmas, but I want Metroid Dread, and I want um, Cruising, Exo uh, Cruising Blast. They look super fun. Right, okay. Have I got enough? Oh, I haven't got enough money, that's right. Okay, so that's one. I bought Razion, that's, that's rather nice. They, one thing they did show with the Direct, they showed more of um, Metroid Dread with the different areas and stuff you go in, and, and it, it does look nice. And I'm pretty sure that's out pre well, in the next month and a half, maybe? End of end of October. And the Game and Watch um uh, Zelda's coming out, isn't it? I think it was Zelda one who was there. Right, let's go this way. Um... <laughs> yeah. The switch is full of stuff like that, isn't it? Yeah, the direct, it, it wasn't that good, to be honest, but... 
Everyone's talking about um, them adding N64 games now, and they to the online service and charging more, but they uh, they didn't state how much more they were charging. And uh, Mega Drive games, wasn't it? All right, uh, yeah, Mario Galaxy's brilliant. I love that. I played it on the um, the GameCube. Is it on the GameCube that one? Or was that Wii? That might be in the Wii. Um, yeah, I played it on there, and I, I really loved it. I I would have picked up that collection if they'd had the second one on there, but for some reason, didn't have a second one. Ah, Wii. I thought it was Wii. Yeah, because it was Mario Sunshine. That's on there as well, isn't it? I really like that as well. But yeah, Galaxy is is amazing. I would actually at some point wouldn't mind playing Galaxy 2. If they'd put that one on there, I probably would have picked it up. Right, are my guys actually going to do anything? I can't go across here, okay? Ah. All right. I haven't updated mine for a long, long time. There's probably loads and loads of updates now for it. Apparently, it's a pretty good retro machine these days, with a lot of updates. Are oh, they in crash today? Yeah, I love Sunshine. I loved it when it first came out and I played it a lot, to be honest. I really enjoyed it. I know a lot of people did a bit mixed opinions about it, didn't they? That's what I can understand, because it's, it's, it's a bit of a different thing, isn't it? But Galaxy's definitely... That, that's brilliant, uh, Mario Galaxy. We'll play it, so do a section, and I'll save it, and then we'll, uh, we'll have a go somewhere else. Come back to it then at some point. Yeah, I did uh, I did my Xbox One. That was the wrong one, wasn't it? It's easy to do as well. You, you literally... The only, the only pain in the arse, I would say, about doing it is... Uh, you basically, you just sign up to developer's mode, which is like 17 quid or 20, 25 dollars or whatever it is. Um, you've got to go to a website to do it. Once you've set it up, you download the app on the Xbox. Uh, and then you sign into the app with the account you just set up. And then it, it, it adds it adds the, the mode there. So what, what, the only problem is when you, want to, when you want to play it, you've got to go into developer's mode uh, to play the emulators and everything. Which is fine. But you you gotta you gotta make sure that you you save what you're doing at the end. I think it's save what you were doing at the end of it because otherwise, uh, what happens is you turn off the de developer's mode and the emulators you put on they disappear. So you gotta you gotta like almost like shut down and put in like a save state type thing. That bit is a little bit of a pain in the ass about it. I, I've had to reload uh, RetroArch on there about three times from doing that. That's the only caveat I would say. You can't just install it all, forget about it, and then boot into it. Uh, you've got to do a full reboot of the Xbox as well. Which is it's okay. I, I can live with that bit of it, but yeah, you you've got to make sure you don't turn it off without saving. Otherwise, you just got to reload the emulator back on. And you need to use an FTP to do it. And uh, I can't remember what program it was. It was ages ago I did it. Get 
you also have to assign um, the size of your hard drive you want to use for it. Right, can I make bridges? Bum, bum, bum. Um, on the Xbox One, they run all right, but the only thing I would say is <clears throat> they they take it, they do take quite a while to load, even off the ex the internal hard drive. Why can't I go across here? Because we have made bridges, maybe? Yeah, the game seemed to run fine on it, to be honest. Like, I didn't um, try Dreamcast. Uh, N64 seemed to run okay. If you've got an Xbox X, it's obviously going to be uh, going to be a lot better, I think. Oh, I need quite a lot of that. Why? Um, why can't we make bridges then? What am I missing? But for the many other rivers, you want you to build homes on the other sides of the rivers so and don't know how to build bridges. Please teach us how to build bridges. <laughs> how do I teach them how to build bridges? Last time you just did it, didn't he? Directed. Right, we're stuck now because I can't work out how to get, um, give them bridges. How the hell am I going to teach you how to do bridges? Uh, make an offering, use an offering. Um, okay. Right, so that's just items. Yeah, I don't know about the Thomas Wave stuff. Um, yeah, if you're on RetroArch, it, it's definitely got more power. So, uh, yeah, Thomas Wave should work. Yeah, you can set it, though. In dev mode, you can set... Um, you can set it to either be an application, or you can set it to be um, a, a game. When you set it to use a game, it uses all the power then. Otherwise, yeah, it does only use a small amount. Fire and lightning on the forest, is it? I actually right it is fire then um... oh, I can't seem to do it what am I missing then They want me to teach them how to do bridges. How do I do that? Bridges. Please uh, teach us how to build bridges. Hmm. that I don't know so, wind rain earthquake and do earthquakes cost too much feels to be fully productive to join yes
I cannot remember how to do it. Three seconds and command for the menu on the right. Okay, that doesn't tell me how to do anything. I'm going to take an offering then. I see a master, you want to come off in? Oh, that's a wheat. Very nice. Yeah, maybe I do. I can't really expand anyway, that's the only thing. What am I missing? I'm missing something. Ah, there's trees up there though, isn't it? You can destroy them. Just can't destroy the big ones. Oh, it's definitely not fully populated. Um, no, 100, um, 182 out of 446. A new one throws out the heat, is it? Dave is throwing out heat. He's doing his job, isn't he? Do the bridges. Right, let's just direct them along the top to see if they make the land a bit better. I do need to fill more. What? The, where am I going wrong here then? I can talk to him, but it won't tell me how to do it. Right, it doesn't give me a clue how though. Don't know how to build bridges. Please teach us how to build bridges. How, how can I teach him? There's nothing I can click on to make him do bridges. Give them the week to back and see what happens. All right, okay. So I'm stuck here. I can't destroy those uh, trees. Increases me. However, I actually need to add 80 SP. Hmm. Stuck here. Well, seems I'm here. You can change this river, can't you? I'm sure you can go down into a level here. What I remember. down into the blood pool and that's where the next level actually is. I wonder if that's what I'm doing wrong. Hang on, hang on. I 
Alright, hang on a minute. If I say that... Uh... Uh, finish your coins, you want to continue, yes. Have I got to go back up and into the blood pool? Because I, I sort of remember doing that. Hmm. No, maybe not. Yeah, I'll show you uncover that and you can actually go down into it. So as I say, to be able to see the build bridge is discovered by the people of Fillmore after seeing off the monster slaves, but they they can reach. After taking up the offering after taking up the offering, the master can teach another civilization. Ah, maybe I gotta go back then. Maybe I've got to go back to you, because they did bridges, didn't they? And then take their offering. Okay. Nice one. Hold a lot of flying monsters will be destroyed. Okay. Nice. That's what it was. If I move that back to there. Teach these now how to do that. So if I... Uh, if I give them an offering, then give them the offering of bridges. Yeah, same here. Yeah, I, I, I try not to look things up on the internet if I can. <laughs> I know you're unexpected, but the people in the have something to tell you. Okay, what are they upset about now? Something's head has run away. He's run away. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, I made love of bread. Please find Teddy and give him bread. Okay. Hey! Go, Bridges! Well, I did it. Come on, cancel that, really. cancel that wrong button. Ding, ding, ding. Just some rain going. Yeah, it is cheating a bit. Give me that. Is Teddy there? On his own. Uh, let's have a look again. So let's go for Sun. I wonder when that um, Valis collection is being released. The one that uh, is not really a collection, as they, as it's only got the free games on it. Oh, I better go and grab some to eat in a minute. No, Teddy. 
Ah, oh, he's going into the cave. Oh, he's back out. Why won't they move across? Oh, Bill says this is you directed. Why won't they move across? Why are they unhappy? I'm giving you everything you want. Why are you unhappy? Is it just because of uh, he's run off? I don't want to find him. He must be really very hungry. Go for bread. Please find Teddy and give him the bread. How am I supposed to give Teddy the bread? I can see him. Little scamp. This would be nice, walkers. I got some mental stairs. Yeah, and on Switch. It says it's a collection, but I can't really consider it a collection if it's missing one of the games. Let me save it. Yeah, it's, it's basically got one, two, and three on it, but it's missing four. Which is bizarre when there's four of them on the PC Engine and they are the PC Engine versions. <laughs> so it's it's not really much of a collection if it's if it, it's not all of them. All right, I can understand if it didn't have the basically the graphic novel thing at the end, which is basically a bunch of pictures from all the intros. That I can understand them not having that version, but why not four? Yeah, you know, there's nothing wrong with using guides. I just feel, I just, I just feel naughty when I do it. I don't know why I just do. I do look sometimes, but I'm not saying I, I never do. Oh, okay. How do I give this little scamp? Hmm. And why is this not going anyway? There's a lot of whys going on here. Plenty of See? You said a blood pool will be built. Okay, if you don't want to go that way, can I go this way? I suppose it is good these days with the internet, isn't it? You, literally, you can find anything you want, essentially, can you? So it's not going anywhere. You're not building anything. I've got plenty of people who are upset about something. Hmm. That's 160, in it? Maybe I should look at guide. <laughs> oh, see, they just repeating the same thing.
Um, master of range bread. Okay. Hmm, I'm definitely stuck though. There's probably something really, really obvious. It's just not moving anyway, is it? Why are they in Abbey? They should be happy. Let's try the sun in this lake. You can dry that lake out, I'm sure you can. Interesting. What is that one? So I can't get over there anyway. Well, they're not willing to play a game for some reason. Tell her what I'm going to do. I'm going to save this. I could strike him down with lightning. Should we do that? Let's do it. I don't feel my wrath. all day. Can you actually do that though? How do you go over how do you actually give him bread? Oh shit, I've killed him. Oh no thankfully he's uh, he's pretty good. So when you do offerings, it just said it takes you back to that. So you can take off, you can use offering, right? So if I use one. Ah, you can. No, you take it back because it's obvious, wasn't it? Oh, I didn't think you could use it like that. Yeah, they pissed off at me. He went in the cave, though. Discover how the lake was poisoned. Right, okay. That was obvious, really, wasn't it? Oops, I... Th I've killed them though as well, haven't I? This point's because of uh, uh, the closeness to the boss's lair. Maybe I shouldn't have uh, been a vengeful god. Will they actually move this time now though? What do they say? Thank you very much for the... 
to the land. Because of this, we can work and be happy. That's nice. I didn't like new on it. Ah, right. Now they now they've decided they can move. Is it? No, I don't want to do lightning. Lightning is bad. I could go back to the safe. <laughs> I think I'll leave it, just to remind them who's in charge. Hey, doggy. Say now, they're not moving. Pain the ass Are they going to say the same thing to me? Why don't they move across then? It's a bit odd why they've stopped moving. Maybe I've just got to wait to get more people, maybe? Definitely getting busy in that uh, temple, isn't he? Not busy enough, though. I could blast him. Maybe I'll give him a bit of ring. Give him a bit of crops. A bit more energy, like they might get a bit more busy. Guy's just having fun with his dog. Fenton! <laughs> Quite funny how we do this, actually. Oh, it's moving again now. Hey, why you. Okay. I don't understand why, I don't understand why it's just randomly starting moving again. Maybe because they're getting busy and making more people? There's 192 now we got. <laughs> yeah, God, you'll be good. They would do a fantastic job of ruining this place. Maybe I wasn't killing enough monsters, maybe. Need to be cranking those kids up faster. <laughs> I should get them on the dole, really, shouldn't I? Get some child support going. Maybe they'll uh, get some more kids in. Oh, here we go. Found something. Found a strange statue. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Could be. King of Monsters. I like King of Monsters. Especially the second one. That was really cool. We'll see other monsters there and help. Uh, some of the level of they seem to have improved. Marvellous. Right, how do I get over there though? That's the question. Ooh, my population has jumped up. They've been uh, definitely getting busy. Okay, what do they say now? 
any finish the road and construction with a neighbor of a town of Fillmore. Now we can teach them how to produce wheat. Oh, lovely. That's great. Population is rising. It's time to almost land the Jeffrey Motrin on the uh, making new kids. No. Seventy-two now. Oh, the fast supposed to be rice. I wonder if that is supposed to be rice. No, maybe not. I gotta remember how to get up. How to fix this bit now. Maybe I've just got to get the uh, population up. I can't remember how many of these levels there is in this game. A weed farm would be useful. Get everyone off their face, it'd be great. Make a lot of money off that. Huh? Maybe that's what one of these things are. Definitely a pub in the Liddles. And an Aldi's, can't forget that. And a farm foods, that'd be nice. A Chucky e. Chokes, that'd also be good. Need a gym as well for all the riders. You definitely need. Uh, Get some McDonald's going for the kids as well, that'd be nice. Right, okay, have they got anything to say to me now? I'm happy for that because they're so can only be happy. I can't get across to that one though, that's the only problem. Fill in the land. Yep. Yeah, my offerings might be a good idea. Okay, I'll have a look at it now. Wait, what are they offering? Ooh, magic skull. Okay. You can even destroy the monsters there. Ah. Mm, yeah, go on then. Right, okay. Red demons of the slayer. Uh, right. Take off a news offering. What are they going to say to me this time? Let's see how that's going. Hang on, one sec.
Three people to see by uh, drawing lots. Oh god, we've got to sacrifice people. Yeah, now we're talking. Oh, uh, they've got to sacrifice Teddy. No! I just saved him as well and give him bread. Right. Ooh, magic scrolly. What's this scroll do then? Oh, a star. Ham and cheese sandwich. Hmm. That'd be nice. The school has to be like the master police is accepting our first this year for accepting a humble offering, my master. My master. I don't want to take off him. No! No! I want to try and use one. Oh, I've got lots of wheat. Maybe that's where it is. Maybe I used to... She's now 12, her way to increase. Yeah, uh, totally can work, okay. Let's save this then. Yeah, ah, right, so the map platform sections. Right, okay. I think that's pretty much what's the next thing to do in this. I think. You go down in the castle next. Yeah, it is. Oh no. Right, I am gonna go for a sandwich. I'm gonna grab some to eat. And we'll swap game. We are going to. You may need to play this, uh, this new retranslation, they're calling it. I finished. Uh, I love these games. I'm trying to go through them all. And, uh,. I've played these three on the PC Engine. It's not that big, actually, but it scrolls like crap. But it uh, it does play really good. But the Mega Drive version has surprisingly got a pretty amazing music. In fact, in some ways, they might actually be better than the PC Engine CD's uh, music. So, apparently the retranslation is good. There must have been something wrong with the original translation. And the Mega Drive version scrolls rather nice so anyway right I'm gonna go uh, grab a drink and uh, make a sandwich quickly and I'll be back
Hello, back. Yeah, East. I always thought this was called YS, but uh, yeah, it's pronounced East apparently. Got myself a sandwich and some uh, bitching crisps again. Oh yeah, Walker's Max KFC chicken flavored uh, crisps. They're immense. Oh, really nice. Yeah, apparently this has been retranslated, and they've done some fixes or something to it as well. It hasn't long come out either. I think I patched it about a week ago. I wouldn't mind trying to finish this version. Well, I do remember about this game though, the f when you first start it, it's quite tricky. Until you start getting the power being uh, powered up. And it is the only East game. It's pretty much a side with scrolling action platformer. Nice, no, right? These ones are really nice. They taste exactly like um, KFC chicken. Mmm. A really strong flavour to them as well. Yeah, because this came out in the SNES as well, didn't it? But it's SNES version's okay. The PC Engine one scrolls terrible, but um, it is really good. So, I'm trying to go through all these games. So far, I finished, um, I finished East 1 and 2. About 18, 19 times. I finished East 3. Not this version, mind. I almost finished East 4. But I wouldn't mind going back to it. I'd have to start again. But you know, I missed it with the full translation. Um, East 5 I've never really played. But I've done East Origin. Um, I'm in the middle of doing 7. Um, 8 was brilliant. I loved that. Um, and I finished the, the latest one, um, Monstrum Knox. That's really good as well. Okay. Yeah, these one and two is amazing. Yeah, Origin's brilliant. Yes, East was on the Mass System. That's the first time I ever played an East game. It was the Mass System one. But these games are my they're my favourite RPGs. Like I say, I, I wouldn't mind uh, going through them all. Oh, I've also done um Ofa Fulgana as well. That was really good as well. So I played the remake of that they did on the PS3. Was it Ofa Fulgana? No, it's um something cell setter, isn't it? Sorry. I think um, something of Cell Set is a remake of Wolf of Fulgana. Yeah, the fancy stars are good. <laughs> I'd say this Meg Drive version has got particularly really good music. What I like about these games, they're all essentially separate. I do follow one from each other, but you don't need to play the other ones to play them. They're pretty much the adventures of adult Christian. They're the books of his adventures, essentially. I haven't been for the last two years. I say this Mega Driver and does sound particularly rather good. <laughs> yeah, the same year it was the Mass System one. 
I, I loved the Master System. I thought it was really good. And then I played the Turbo 1 and 2. That, that game's amazing. These games are a bit weird. They started off with probably one of the worst way of fighting enemies in the adventure game. And now they've turned they've turned into the best um, full on action RPGs. The new action systems that they brought out since they did um, oh, which one was it? It wasn't seven. It was the one before seven. It's just got better and better. It just works brilliant. Yeah, I bought the Steam ones not long ago, one and two. I wouldn't mind playing through them myself. Yeah, they, they can be enjoyed on their own. Cool. Let's go. I say, Telnet didn't particularly do... I do like their games, but they're not the best developer in the world, but I think they've done a pretty amazing job with this. Yeah, I don't mind the walk into enemies, to be honest, but it went from walking into enemies, there is a bit of strategy to it. But it went from that to what they are now, is full-on amazing um, action RPGs in 3D. This is why I can't play Final Fantasy. Yeah. After finishing um, East 8, Final Fantasy was shit. I just couldn't stand the way it played. It was a massive letdown, unfortunately. Oh, doggy. I'm changed a bit. No, I haven't, but I, I'm, I've heard they're good as well. It's Falcom, isn't it? They, they made really good adventure games. So the PC Engine version, it's a good game, but it, it scrolls terrible. Nothing has changed. <laughs> it's put me sleep in the bed. He said he was going to get it. That is the lodge, isn't it? Da -da 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 -da. So the music's great. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't get on with the remake. I tried. I just don't like the way it plays. I haven't tried the 60 FPS version, though. That might be a bit better. It's a bit of shame because I bought the collector's version, but um, I couldn't get on with it. Yeah, I know loads of people say it's good when you get into it, but... I think playing the PS5 version might be good with the upgrade, like it's supposed to be excellent. And it's free. If you've got a disc one, of course. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's 15, the new one. I, I've, I've bought the last couple of them, collector's edition ones, but I haven't got around to playing them. Right, can I get anything in here? He said he was going to get us a room, didn't he? I 
the strange day seems just from a He did himself into a room and since the body was killed by Ah, so look, I can ask have been stupid around you lately and they speak to find us for sure. They aren't quite nice the new ones. Right. Charging power, buy meds and buy an item. Probably I'm going to need money if I... Nope. Oh yeah, I've got a thousand. Where's Dogie gone then? Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Right. right. Definitely a sword. Oh, nope. Wrong button. Wait, yes. Right, now I'm skin. <laughs> yeah, there's loads of good adventure games out there. I just I won't try and do all these games. So if you're going to play the East games, you're going to play the modern ones. I'll go with um, East 8. That's brilliant, East 8 is. Right, okay, cool. Now we're tooled. Yeah, this mine is quite tough at first. Christian. I love a good adventure. Okay, cool. I can save on the fly as well. That's handy. Yeah, I've got a little save on as well. But I tell you what, those um, August Max. KFC chicken crisps are amazing. They're so nice they are. Let's find Dogie where he's gone. No, it's a bit shimmery, isn't it? That's because it's um That's because it's not. I wonder if that's because of the 5x. Normal vertical integer. Does that fix it? Yeah, it does. Sword him to death. Well, mine it isn't. Yeah, it's amazing how, um, how much you've played that. Obviously, well worth a money. <laughs> Good game, as well.
It has got charms. New ones are good as well, mate. Music's cool in this. That's the one thing. These these games got amazing music. And um, usual Kashiro did the music for uh, East 1 and 2 as well. Oh yeah, I've got a jump. I say this mine is tough as, tough as shit though, so at first. You need to argue for money as well. I can all go up a couple of levels and money I am basically. That's the plan. It's always a good idea in uh, these games. Mega Drive got a really crap sound chip if you listen to most people on the internet. Crazy. That's just people that basically never played any import games, just play games from EA and companies like that. They're the people who think it got a terrible sound joke. If you go outside and stand still, you get an energy bag. Yeah, I, I need to get back to Breath of the Wild and uh, try and finish it as well. Like I said, I am going to hog beer. It'll make the game easier if I hog for a bit. Yeah, I got to the first um, temple and the first boss, the one in the lake, and then uh, I stopped playing it. I, I have been meaning to go back to it, but I got a couple of adventure games on the go at the moment, so I probably a better idea to finish them. So I got to finish 13 Sentinels as well, because I've been playing that a bit. That's good, but basically the type of game I'm not really into, being more like a graphic novel. There's some action bits, but it is good. That's a vanilla way game, I If you were fucking me, oh shit, that's bad. To get the armor. Um, no, I haven't played Skyward Sword either. Need to go back playing modern games. <laughs> Still love the Nintendo stuff. It's quite cool this one, you can save it anyway. the older East games you do have to do a bit of hogging. Technically I don't have to do a beer but I'm not going to survive very long inside this dungeon unless I'm at a higher level. I can 
see it covered it till the mum's dead. Right, experience, where am I? Normally it tells you the next level. 79 off, is that it? No. Oh, that was bad. I think I went up a level then. How much money I got? Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, the, the Metroid games... Like I said, I haven't finished all the Metroid games. It, it would be good to go for them as well. At some point. Essentially, I don't really have to buy any new games. I've got so much shit I actually want to play. I could just, like, stop buying games altogether for quite a, quite a while. But I've got to be honest, I haven't actually bought much lately. For quite a while, to be honest, so... I have sort of been doing that. Well, I couldn't... I, one, I couldn't see it. And uh, I had to keep all my money to get my fucking eyes sorted. But I haven't really bought anything for a while. Right, I'm definitely a bit harder now. I guess quite fun this game does once you get into it. I do like this Meg Drive soundtrack, though, it's pretty wicked. It's weird, isn't it? This, this literally is the only East game that they did sideways scrolling. All the other games are usually like top down or 3D. Get a better sword would be uh, quite nice, I think. It'll definitely be uh, worth hogging around with for a while. Hang on. Uh, what does that say? Strike 30, gold that, experience. Next, we need a thousand. This game, it, it ain't that long either. I think I finished the uh, PC Engine one in a few days. It's the shortest out of them. Can I force a respawn if I go back down here? That would be quicker if I can. No. Right. 
Dino, yeah, Xenoblade Chronicles looks wicked, but it's, it's a good, like, 150-hour game, though, isn't it? That's the only thing. That's, like, long-term. Like, I haven't finished Persona, because I've played that for, like, about 160 hours. And I'm literally only, like, I know, probably 70% through the game. Right, okay. I haven't seen Pandora's Tower. Hmm. Nice yogurt. Ooh, bugger. Like, Persona 5 is brilliant, but it's, inc it's ridiculously long. Like, proper ridiculously long. back to it at some point and <laughs> go for NG I think. Yeah I've got the Wii U one as well but I, I never got around to playing it. It looks wicked but um yeah they reckon it takes about 150 hours to finish it. Except most of these games, they don't look anything special. Especially the older these games, they don't look anything special at all. It's just, but well, they are my favourite adventure games. I, I, it's crazy. I've never played an adventure game over and over before. To the point, like I've played East Book One and Two like about 18, 19 times, which is crazy. Usually, adventure games, I'll play them once and that's it. My favourite SNES one is um, Secret of Mana, or um, basically Final Fantasy VI. That is my favourite Final Fantasy game, actually. You can lose your energy with these enemies so really quick. Right, I can't be, f I'm not that far off going up another level. I'm only going to hog to the end of this level and then I'm going to go back to the town and buy a better sword if I got enough cash. And then I'm going to go for it. This one doesn't seem quite as uh, brutal as the PC Engine one. Because at the start, the PC Engine one's really difficult. Maybe they've um, played around with it, the difficulty a little bit. So this is definitely easier. The PC Engine one, you die literally in about a second or two if you bump, if you bump into an enemy. If I got the PC engine, I'd probably be dead doing that. Maybe I didn't need the hog. Oh well, mizzle, mizzle hog completely now.
Yeah, I definitely would have survived that. Almost there, gotta to get to a thousand or so. Yeah, Xenoblade 2 looks really good. Only problem, I'm just afraid of that, probably out. 150 hours I'd have to put into it if I bought it. Yeah, some of the Wii U games look amazing. The Wii U was a really capable machine. It just it didn't get supported. I think EA dropped it out straight away at the beginning is maybe what killed them off. Everyone likes say FIFA's and all the other stuff that EA do. But Nintendo cranked out some pretty amazing looking games on it. And um, a few other companies did. Hence they ported them all to the Switch and they've done really well. <laughs> yeah, the Wii U was good. Right, 822. I'll need to get to a thousand. I say there's there's no iframes or or any um, pushback on this game. So uh, it's usually is a bad idea. <laughs> Another 130 yard to go. Then we'll play it. Was it DQ um, 8? What's that? What do you mean Final Fantasy 8? Yeah, I see. Persona definitely, you know, well, it's free on the store at the moment, isn't it? The Persona. And out of that PlayStation collection, you could get, especially if you've got a PS5. It's, it's well worth playing. Persona 5 is brilliant. It's just long. I think I made the mistake with Persona 5 was doing all these side missions. I was doing them for ages and then I realised how big the game actually was. So I, I think I artificially padded it out to myself. It's got an awesome style on it though and it's got pretty amazing music. I say it is free on the store. It was quite funny. My mate bought the um, the golden version of uh, five, or not golden. Was it like an updated version with extra content? And then I told him how long it's going to take him <laughs> to get to that extra content. Uh, I don't think he's played it. Yeah, it was. It's, it was a well, it's a well capable machine that we use, like. Didn't they say, uh, how long does it say before I actually get? Ah, oh, 115. Eh? No. What level am I on? Experience for death. Alright, oh, okay, right, okay. Never hogging then. I've gone up to level 3, that'll do. I'll go back to the town of here. Then again, maybe I won't. Gonna save a bit. Let's go for it.
Persona 4 was supposed to be good as well, Persona Golden. That was supposed to be excellent. Never had played that, mind. Be sure that was a Vita game. These monsters are hard to kill without getting hit. See what I mean about losing your energy fast? I'm almost screwed already. Well, the power ring. Awesome. Yeah, I think they did. But if you go back to that controller now, mind, it's it's really comfortable. It's way more comfortable than playing a Switch um, in handheld. Um, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to equip the ring. I'm going to save it here as well. Actually... What can you do in configuration? Ah, that's what I wouldn't mind doing. Changing my buttons around. Sword jump item, that's it, that's what I want. <laughs> Put message on fast. Yeah. I suppose they did, yeah. Power ring is going to help. Okay, not that much. Now oh, I'm almost dead. Saved here what it was. See what I mean? Gets rough when you get in here. Yeah. Oh, I'm just finished my yogurt off thing. Yeah, the, the Wii U was a bit of a silly name for the UK, wasn't it? I see where Nintendo were going though, like, but... Actually, was I getting energy back in here when I stand still? No. My ring's only gonna last a certain amount of time as well. This means I should keep it for bosses. things are hard to do without actually getting it. Okay, point is going down there then. Sneaky bastard. <laughs> I 
Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what it is with the Wii, isn't it? Yeah, I, I think in, in Japan it worked, didn't it? But in Western countries, it was just like, people were just like, you just called the console piss. What, what's going on? I didn't continue, right? Ah, how do you continue on this reset? Where I could probably do going back to the start and uh, getting some energy. I'm sure if I jump over here, there's something over here. Yeah, there's. That's locked as well, though. <sighs> I mean, the start of this game is, um, it's tricky. Film and Jimmy. Eh? How much money I got? Hmm, might be worth you pop back to the town. See if you got some better armor. Do well, actually. I'm gonna take two seconds. I right, take our ring off as well because I don't need that. Yeah, the we. Uh, the Wii sold loads, didn't it? Nintendo appealed to the people that no one has ever been to appeal to, basically, and they, they sold shitloads. Um, where was the guy with the weapons? Right, so, armor. What we got? How much is chainmail? Ooh. Broadsword, how much is that? 8,000. So it's the chainmail I want. Right, so I need a hog up too, so I can get enough of the better armor. I should start flying, be able to fly through the game, man. Well, I'm going to fly through it, but. It's been some extreme hogging I've been doing. I just need fifteen hundred.
ding, 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 ding. Be surprised this game how much uh, getting different armor will actually make. The rings in this game make a difference as well. First boss. Right. 180 to go. Oh shit. Yeah, Muramasa Demon Blade is brilliant. I finished that on the Wii U, it was excellent. I've got it on the um the Vita. I wouldn't mind playing that with the um, the guy, because I finished it with the girl, but not the guy. I am a big fan of Vanilla Ways games as well, they're really good. They are a bit sort of long, and can be a bit long-winded at times, but uh, they're generally good. And Muramasa looks amazing as well, though. The art style in that game is pretty fantastic. Right, we're almost there. Right, 101 to go. Yeah, I might play through it again on the Vita. Yeah, no more heroes went bad. I never ended up finishing it though. The, the Wii did have some good games, but I, I think it's literally like 10% of really great stuff and 90% uh, of um, basically crap. It does have a lot of shovelware, doesn't it, the Wii? But in between that shovelware, there is some really, there is some gems. Like House of the Dead Overkill, that's hilarious. That game's wrong in so many ways. I still think it's got the, the best scene at the end of any game. We're in the helicopter at the end, and uh, the black guy turns around, turns around to uh, G, and says, "Yep, we were rightful, we were righteous motherfuckers." The end. <laughs> that game's hilarious. They, they say some things in that game. I was just you sit there thinking, "Ooh, how did they get away with that?" Say if you like the House of the Dead games and you, you've never you've never played it, it's definitely worth a go. And it came out on the PS3 as well. I used to play over a land earlier, that's cool. I've actually played the arcade of that as well. They actually released an arcade one. I think they did um House of the Four House of the Dead uh, four typing game as well. All right, John, how's it going? Didn't notice you joined then. Right, I should be able to get something now. I'm going to buy some armor. I'm going to buy some chain mail. I'm going to say yes. Oh, I don't have enough, do I? Ah, oh, no. Oh, God, I, I peaked too early in. That's it. Very premature with that. I did a space out you went, did I? I thought I had 5,000 then for some reason. Oh, it's the XP I seen. Uh, oh! Look at it now. One of you a little bit off. Uh, 
Okay, we did it. We did it. Did it. Should be awfully able to take a lot more hits with the finish. So we're going through there, we're gonna fight the boss. Two more coins. That's it, we got it. Yeah, there's, there's a particularly a lot on the Wii Mind. But like I said, it's in between all that shovelware, there are some gems. Yeah, Sin and Punish Punishment 2 is good. I should have picked that up when it was going cheap. Yeah, the old hidden gems. Right. Now sell me an armor suit. Your greatest chainmail I want. Thank you very much. Do do do. Right, okay, cool. I'm gonna do a savey. Just to make sure. I'm gonna go to the menu because it'll save it. Right, let's go for it. We're gonna find the boss. Yeah, there's a lot like Gantu games. They actually work quite well on the Wii. The remote is quite good for that type of thing. Yeah, it is just a GameCube in here with uh, a little bit extra, not much. They um they're pretty nice emulator machines as well once you hack them. It's another thing that we's uh, quite good for. The uh, output to the right uh, resolution and refresh rate as well. So you can play like proper um, 240p stuff. Wow, oh, these fucking things are a pain in the ass. I'm definitely take a lot more hits now, wouldn't he? Yeah, you can get a Marjorie B scat and they output at uh, the proper resolution and everything. So if you're playing on a CRT, they're pretty nice emulator machines. Bob's Pendant. That's what I wanted. Yeah, I never played um, that on there. Oh, did I play that? I played it on the GameCube. Yeah, I beat that game on the GameCube. Right, what does Bob's Pendant do? Alright, okay. Man, stop right there. I don't know who you are, but you don't need to be here. Do we? Aww. Oh. Naughty, any?
Uh, is this still in there? Try to get away. Oh, how's ah? That's back there. Inside to find a sword to build. Uh, okay. So, do I go back and find the storeroom? I can't do any other shots. There's the right and the storeroom is the top of it. Right hand side. Okay. Thank you very much. We're, we're a lovely guy. Yeah, there's a lot more bobs coming back that way, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose the um, the remotes are pretty wicked for that type of thing. They work really well on the, P um, the PlayStation uh, ice cream cones as well. Shooters work really well now. I occasionally get them out and play on them. Right, so I've got to go up into the right. So, walk into my blade. I see there. I wouldn't. Can't see there. Save a beer. Right, here we go. Yeah, the move controllers are pretty good. The ice cream cones, as I like to call them. pick that up yeah I could drop it in my sword are we talking forgot actually you could use the power ring on him Yeah, I do remember the home hub. I did play that a little bit, walked around it. I didn't do that much with it, to be honest. I think it was that idea of some sort of big community area, wasn't it? But it, it just didn't quite work out. It's a good idea, though. Yeah, I played it a little bit. Like, I think... They try to um, monetize it a little bit too much as well, I think. It probably didn't help. They made it like a quite cool idea, but then they wanted to charge you for everything you want to put in it, didn't they? All the customization. But yeah, it was it was interesting. Right. New section. Oh, and do we see still there?
on top of the button. Just go put the oatmeal. Yeah, didn't quite work out that way though, did it? Probably should have saved him here, oh well. Right, let's use the, let's use the power ring. Holy shit. Yeah, if you should have saved it. Uh, which one was it? The storeroom, wasn't it? Yep, that thing's dynamite. Yeah, it just didn't quite work out, did it, basically? Like I said, it wasn't a bad idea, eh? I just think if people are more interested in turning on the consoles, I suppose, just playing games on them, having and hanging out somewhere, but... Maybe these days, with the social media, you could turn it into something like a social media platform. Maybe it'd work a bit better, then. Have to go too far back. Yeah, it was something different for the time. They were trying something new in it, you know, just, just didn't work for this time. Should go through all the um, Valis games or something as well. Big fan of them games. I don't know why. I've always liked them. Right? Can I save it by you? That's the question. I don't, don't want to load it. Yeah, I never took off. Right, you definitely can't hide in that corner then. So I need to stay... Not in the middle. i wait for him to finish the dive and jump in there, get a couple of hits, and then jump back out. Let's do, uh, save it to the first one. Right, I want to do the power ring as well. That's going to help. Right, so basically I can jump near the middle. And in there is going to be interesting, aren't it? Oh, 
Those things are strong. Right, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna put this on and save it because it's gonna be a pain in the ass away, isn't it? Hmm, this thing is going to be tricky to beat. <laughs> if I use pretty damn quick. <sighs> Why did they put the... Uh... Why do they put the thing at the top? <laughs> There's got to be some sort of timing, like you can actually get in there and get a hit. Oh, didn't even get a hit. You know, it's, um, it stopped firing as well, and I do take a hell of a lot of energy off it. Yeah. Looks like if you've got to get in the hit, run away, get in the hit, she stops firing, so... Gotta get that timing right. That's the way to do it. Does look very easy. I'll get it. Do one now. The bosses in these games can be difficult when you're on low levels. Right, so I'm gonna get in close first, and then I'm gonna run away. So if I stay reasonably close, she's on, on fire. I got it. going up a level. Mm -hmm. I just don't know what you're doing. I know you live, uh, live once you... Yeah, I remember that guy's a twat. Yeah, yeah, runway. Uh, dangerous situation. Go on the shoulder. Do, 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 do. Can I do the bend over? Ah. If I could bend over and get his foot up the outside, it'd be quite funny. Right, I just need to get a little bit more cash. Uh, sorry. I'm just going to hog up a tiny bit of experience. Get to the next level, just for the hell of it. 
I'm only just off it. That was carnage, I was. Go on, 38 points, that's what I want. Oh, two points, experience. Come on. Down, down, down. That's it. Yeah, can't fault the old uh, old RPG grinding. So we're going to do the first boss. Happy days. I play this a bit tomorrow, a bit more tomorrow as well. <clears throat> Seen around you before, you're a traveller? Yes, I am a traveller. Right, he talks to some people now, I think. Uh, recharging power ring. Uh, nope, it's pretty recharged. Right, I think one of these things brings you back. How much is that? 500. Go on out. I remember it was actually worth buying this stuff. Buy some herbs, eh? And uh, nope, not gonna buy that. Yeah, I remember buying the items quite important. Do 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 do. do. See if this old lady's gonna talk to me now. In that case, take uh, this ring with you. I don't want to see what anyone tries to happens to Bob. Our ah, shield ring, cool. You can't do some killed when you're here, live a longer time. Okay, cool. Yeah, medical herbs. Mmm. I feel the urge to put my hands up and tweak my two fingers, medical herbs. <laughs> Edel, perfect timing. I have a favour to ask you. Anna, could you tell me, Edel, what you just told me? And it feels a bit strange, but I tell you this is just do me. Chester. Uh, I remember Chester. Six months ago, I maybe working to Maguire, uh, Lord of uh, the Valestina Castle. In any case, there's a room to especially in the water rain. I'll take care of it. I'll take myself. That's the next place to go then. The monsters uh, prowl around to the final brothers' painters on the ground. So there it comes and it goes from, from the ruin. Yogi, uh, I don't know if this to bring you to the farm of Perry and the other side of the return here. You go to the uh, Elburn ruins and find them yourself. Okay. I'm proposing I guess I haven't seen it. Oh, she does ask a lot, seems I haven't spoken to her. Not sorry to impose really you. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Medical herbs. Oh, they sorted him in the air then. That's probably what not good. What's he got to say? I will be careful. Thank you very much. Well, never got this far on this one. Cool. 
See if we need a place as well, just to make sure. Oh my god, that was bad. That was like really bad. Yep. Yeah, these guys taking a lot. There's a couple of PC Engine RPGs I wouldn't mind finishing. Some action RPGs as well. Birds are almost like the ninjas in Shinobi and A on the last level to fly down. Give me pretty bad then. you and me which is good wherever they are go up here so it's like a big castle this is too many wait is that not bad no Yeah. Is that right? Uh, it looks like there's a trespasser above us. Yeah, we should have gone the other way. Oh, he is Chester. Uh, uh, explain to you about this. Oh my god. I'm concerned of yours or his. Bastard. Oh, yeah, this was um, yeah, PC Engine CD. Um, Exile 1 and 2 would be uh, worth uh, playing through. Should have used the herb, should I? The medical herb. Yeah, the XL1 and 2 is um, too far, what am I doing? The East 4, I wouldn't mind running through that again as well. I'll actually finish it here this time. At least I get that out of the way. I'm on a bit of an east binge, trying to go through more. Yeah, the only problem with XR, I suppose, is 
you walk quite close to the screen, don't you? And the enemies just pop up, but it, it looks good though. I'm sure I've got one or two translated ones as well that are worth a go. Ones I wouldn't mind, but unfortunately there's no translations of the Cosmic Fantasy games. Uh, Cosmic Fantasy 2 was great. I'm pretty sure they did four of them, and uh, only the second one got a translation. this time. Next time I'll save it when I drop down, I think. Just to be sure. You give for more bit. It's the only way to be sure. go down first I think just because there's anything interesting down there. Oh there is. Ah oh, better shield, nice. He's getting slowly more and more sort of uh tooled. Ah oh, there's the medical herb. Yeah, because four. I, I've got the original jump. I pl did play for the Japanese version. It, it's not that hard to play, actually. But um, I bought it when I was in Japan of uh, East Four. But um, they fully translated it now, and they've redone all the voice. They've um, done all the voiceovers and stuff on it as well. Ah, oh, the old PS4, eh? That's the way. Yeah, it should be fine. The update now fixes the battery issue as well. So you no longer need uh, the clock battery to work. It was all to do with um, the, um, the achievements and stuff. But that's fixed now, apparently. Should go quite smooth, I reckon. Right, she's going to be a bit of a twat and jump me down here. Those things take a lot of energy. Oh, it's rough down there. Um, I don't know. I don't know if they suffer from the same problem. They fixed the PS5 because I think the PS5 had the same way of doing stuff as well, and that's done as well. Yeah, I think I, I think I did the update on the on the Pro way. I don't think I've done it on the PS4 yet. Need to sort that out, basically. I'm going to save it when they hit the floor, I think. <laughs> Might be an idea. Yeah, I think the Xbox is by far the worst one to update, though, isn't it? Well, updating games is a bit of a... It's a bit of a pain. 
Right, maybe I'll go right this time instead. Right, I'm going to save a bit. Definitely ain't going in a day. Right, you're off here, mate. No worries, thanks for hanging around. Say a little bit different tonight, playing a bit of uh, adventuring type game, so it's been fun though. I have been meaning to play through an uh, adventure game on stream, so maybe I'll play through this one. But yep, cheers for it. No worries, good night, and maybe catch you tomorrow. I got on the Halo beta this week as well. I had a go of it earlier. Um, it's only got borderless full screen uh, full screen mode. So you can't you can't put the game in full screen. Ah, that's some herbs. Right, it's okay. So if I go to equipment. Actually, I use up there and then pick it over. Uh, okay, why would I pick it up? Uh, maybe I shouldn't touch it before using that one. Oh well. Yep, no night, dude. So good. Definitely don't want to hang around with that. Um, okay. To the children. It's not taking much energy off him. That might happen. All right, Bean, how's it going? I'm okay. How was you? Um, this time, I remember, I can take the herb before picking the other one up. I remember doing that on the PC Engine one as well. Right. Equipment. Yeah, I had a go with it. Um, it seems pretty good. It's just like old Halo, essentially. But um, yeah, the, it, I can't get full the full use of my PC out of it because uh, it can only works in borderless mode, and then uh, you can't change the resolution in borderless mode. All you can do is have your 4K as a 4K desktop I got, and then do um, uh, graphics. Uh, 
percentage. So basically, I have to drop the graphics percentage down. So basically, you're not you're doing the resolution in a weird way. So they need to sort that out. Um, work. I I am. I've only been in once so far. Uh, they're trying to get me in full time, but I'm, I'm trying to stay away from it. And uh, but it's not too bad actually. I'm getting it. I just got. I got to go in Monday and do a few things, and then um, I might pop in some other time in the week for a morning or something. But yeah, I'm generally trying to work from the house, and working from the house is all right. I got quite a lot of stuff to do, so. I've got plenty of stuff I can do for the house, essentially, so... But yeah, it's not too bad. I'm back, I've been two weeks now, so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm up for doing six hours a day this week, and then back full-time and the week after. I should have saved it, shouldn't I? Yeah, it's not too bad. I save it there. That's back to the ruins, and I don't want to do that one. I prefer to stay at home, to be honest. I can get a lot done in the house, like, and it's, it's just easier than going in. And I'm going to put up with the bullshit when I'm in the house as well, which is quite nice. I can stay away from all that crap, like, so... If I can, I'd rather work from the house. Plus, anyway, obviously, because of the way things are at the moment, I'd, I'd rather work from the house anyway. Yep. As most jobs, there's a lot of crap that sometimes goes on. <laughs> but, you know, to be truthfully honest, there's loads of stuff I can do from the house. I could spend months in the house, basically. I mean, it all goes to work exactly what they want, so... Yeah, exactly. You know, they need the work done, and... And it... Pretty much, it's work I've done I can, I can do from the house, so... I don't necessarily have to go in to do it. In fact, if I go in to do it, I'd be doing exactly what I would be in the house. So, at that point, I might just do it from the house. It's like it's a bit pointless me going in to do remote work I can do from the house. Oh, it's bad. But, you know, we shall see. We shall see what it turns out to be. Right, okay. I can't save it here, can I? Oh, that's a really bad place to save, isn't it? Right, okay, let's get the power ring on. I'm not too bothered, like, face to face, I know what you mean. You know what our office could be like, all filled in here, you know what I mean? And it's it's far worse now, we had it easy where we were. The only problem in our office is um, higher management, that's, that's the issue, apart from that, it's not really a problem. Let's 
guy because it's going to take a lot of hits. Oh, bugger, that's not good. No, I don't mind it, but it is nice to go in and speak to people. Mind, I will say. Can I get to this boss without using so many herbs? tell if those things are randomly going to come down. I think that's why that herb's there, isn't it, basically. If I do my equipment by it and then do a save, sneaky save if I can. Power ring. Right, okay, cool. I know about the same, to be honest. I'm going to bed a bit earlier, mind. Especially if I can get up, obviously I can get up earlier, so definitely go to bed earlier. Oh, I noticed his tail. No, you could. Uh... Oh shit, that was bad. Okay, you can charge up though. No, that's right. This boss is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass of eating it. Nah, definitely no more vampire arrows. Apart from on the weekend, I suppose. Maybe the shield ring's a better idea. Oh, night, mate. Cut your own. So I'm not going to be too much longer. I'm trying to beat this boss.
I didn't lose too much energy. Shield rings definitely doing the job. The only problem is not gonna last for much longer. I'm not taking much energy off him either. I think I'm still better off with the power ring. This guy's going to take past the ages to kill. Question, where's he gone? The ring on. That was unfortunate. Maybe not. Yeah, catch you tomorrow, mate. Right? Oh, I just died. No, uh, get in. Have to plug it in, dude. Some nice hits. Oh, no percent. Nice. And the best thing is, It's just gonna be absolutely solid. That was good. Skis.
Always good to have more energy. Um, And it belongs to her. What's a mysterious power that, that, uh, that might be Andy? Actually, that might. I wonder if I can use that. Oh, I got a herb. Tell you what, if I use the herb. Equipment. I wonder if I can trap it when it comes down. I want it to come down when I can actually just plow it with the upstrokes. Alright, it doesn't work on it. Boss is a real pain in the ass. Got the tails on it, don't do anything. You can't attack it when it's on there. Nope. It does prolong the life of your phone. It works, but I do that all the time. I run my phone down to about 2 or 3%, and I always charge it full. Matter of chemistry, basically. And it works. Your phone battery will last way longer. Literally, I've never changed the battery of my phone. Any of my phones. No, same with the new ones. That's what happens. Basically, what people do is... They don't charge. They let they they charge the their battery when they're on like twenty odd percent. And then they don't charge it full. Charge it up to eighty odd percent. What you find is then after about a year or so, your the you, amount your battery can charge up has probably dropped down to eighty odd percent. If you if you let your battery run down right almost to the bottom and then fully charge it and just keep doing that, your battery will last ages. Yeah, same with laptops. People leave them on charge, so they're continuously doing small charges. Plus, all your phone batteries have all got a limited amount of charges. I think it's about a thousand charges, and then and then basically they don't charge properly. So every time you're doing a small charge on your phone, you use them on those charges. It does work to do it, like. That's why people always say, oh, my phone battery shared. That's because you, you continuously charge it when you, don't, when you don't need to be charged. Like I say, it does work, so. Oh great. I ain't gonna do this, am I? Yeah, they lying. Should 
shouldn't charge your phone when you don't need to. Pretty much most phones, if you have a look at the batteries, they've got inbuilt chips into them. They tell you the amount of uh, charges they've done, how many uses have they had. And they stop working probably. At the end of the day, it's electronics versus chemistry essentially. Chemical reaction inside those batteries needs to be discharged and then charged back up again. To work correctly. Yeah, that, that's what kills batteries in um, laptops, is literally leaving the charger in. So they, they sat there at 100%, so they, they charge, stop, charge, stop, charge, and they just keep doing that. Shit. We have one more go. Maybe, maybe they say it, but I don't know. Seems to work, though. That's all I can say. The battery on my iPhone is uh, two years old, and I never turn it off. And after two years, it's only down to 92%. Because I do that. So, I don't know how it works. Even if they say it doesn't matter with normal batteries, I don't. Maybe I don't. It does seem to, the batteries do seem to last longer when you do it. Oh, bollocks. Yeah, I've got a ring on which does more damage, but I think I'm just a bit low on level or something. The only problem is now, I think I've saved over, over all my... Uh, which was probably really stupid. Actually, if I could stay here, would be quite good. Hog. How much am I actually going up? I'm... No, I don't know. They, they give me quite a lot of energy. I say energy, experience points. Might be worth uh, doing a bit of hogging, maybe. Yeah, that's pretty good then. Fair enough then. Maybe it doesn't make a difference then. I don't know. Maybe it's changed with new batteries. Or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. After three years, eight, nine percent. That's pretty good. That's really good. Yeah, it's a Bluetooth and uh, Wi Fi does weigh your battery up fast, doesn't it? Get out here a minute. Oh, 
Wait, hold on. Let me. Um... Let me use that. Yeah, it's definitely, if you turn those things off, they, they definitely will last longer. You say maybe I'm wrong in there, I don't know. That's how it used to be, didn't it, with batteries? And, I don't know. Oh, you got the XR, bro. Yeah, the one in, my, the one in the 11 last um, good day and half. I only ever charge it every day or two. Yeah, that'd be quite funny. It might do. Right, I'm gonna save that on top of there. Let's see if there's a way of maybe hogging up a level without. Uh... So I should be able to. Um... Might take a while though. So you can stand. I'm pretty sure every time you go in here. Because I think you can, anyway. We'll find out now. Can I use that and then go back up and pick it back up? Because that'd be great if you can. Yep. Yeah, it'd be funny if we carry an Ethernet cable around with you everywhere. <laughs> That'd be funny. I wonder what the battery's like on 5G. Anyone tried that? I wonder if 5G kills your battery a little bit more. I'm assuming it probably does. Being uh, faster transfer, you're probably going to use a bit more of your processor to decrypt it and everything as well. So, it probably does. <laughs> Don't think, the only 5G mast I know around here is just over the mountain in the Cardiff. There's one. I'll have to park outside it one day and see how fast it actually is. <laughs> I just bought a 13, had the SD 13 Pro. I, I, I moved up from 11. It's um, it's very nice. Uh, this 120 hertz on the screen is pretty nuts. You can definitely notice the difference. And I tried some 120 hertz gaming on you. It's super smooth and uh, scrolling you can scroll the screen incredibly fast but you can still read words it's stupid it doesn't blur yeah there's still some masks left and the camera is pretty amazing on you as well i know it's like a bollocks isn't it Yeah, it seems really nice, the 13. I went for the Pro, I think that's the one to go for. There seems to be a lot of companies offering pretty good deals on the Pro this time. They normally charge you loads of money up front, don't they, for uh, iPhones, but they're not doing it this time. So I don't know. But the 13 looks really nice as well. It's definitely faster as well, and the battery is definitely uh, lasts a lot longer. I 
I've only added a day mine, so you know. This is the first time I've done a full charge on it. Uh, but apparently, you can get. I've seen tests online. You can get um, almost nine hours of continuous screen use using um, internet, video, and gaming out of it. Apparently, the the max will do almost ten. Well, nine and a half. But yeah, you'll get over eight hours. Eight hours. They when they on the test, they got eight hours twenty odd minutes out of this continuous use. Which is quite impressive, and they were playing games, browsing the internet, watching videos. They had like a, a load of phones lined up, and they were doing the same thing on each phone and timing how long the battery takes to run out. And um, the 13 and the uh, well, the 13 Pro and the 13 uh, Pro Max lasted a ridiculous long time. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. I think I'll probably end up keeping this one for um, probably the next uh, three, four years as well. You got the XR now. How big is the screen on the XR? Because the, uh, the Pro's got a 6. Point, uh, either 6 1 or 6 .2. it's a 6.1 or 6.2. It's a fair size screen, to be honest. I could have gone for the Pro Max. I was thinking about it. But. It wasn't actually that much more either. But uh, I don't know. The screen's even bigger and it's bigger in your pocket. And I'm used to having the 11. And that's the Pro. The, um, the Pro is exactly the same size screen as the 11. It was cheaper to buy it outright, was it? So screens go in the XR. I'll have a look now. Yeah, the the Pro Max is nice though, but yeah, Pro will do me. It's exactly exactly the same as uh, the Pro Max, is apart from the screen size. <laughs> yeah, it's my always my fault. Always my fault. Yeah, the, the 13 seems pretty pretty damn good so far. The camera's amazing. I w I took a picture of uh, I peeled um uh, a satsuma earlier and you know the bit that comes out of the middle of the satsuma. You know, you peel all the bit off and you got like the stringy bit that comes out. I took a picture. I'll send it to you now. Have a have a look at this. Send it to you on uh, WhatsApp now. We can find your name on it. It's ridiculous, the camera. And it's got the macro mode, plus you've got the zoom on the macro mode as well. You got WhatsApp? If not, I'll send it to you by text. Do a text then. You would all fashion me. Um, send you the two of them now. This thing was small as well. Ah, six point one. Yeah, so it's the same size screen basically, but it's um, an OLED that can do one twenty, uh, one twenty hertz. Yeah, I'll have a look at that. It's ridiculous the detail on that and how far I could actually zoom in. Especially the second one I sent you. That is tiny as well. It's probably about the size. Oh, I don't know how big it is actually. But the camera seems pretty amazing on you so far. Like I said, I am really a time to fully mess around with it but uh seems like quite a big upgrade yeah the one the one thing i will say about this one because of the size of the screen you you can't always reach the screen with your thumb can you i think the pro max would be even worse that's why you've got that double tap down avenue which uh basically brings stuff down to the bottom of the screen a bit 
I think it would be even harder to use it one-handed with the Pro Max. But I don't know, I think this one's a pretty not bad size. The notch is smaller, but it doesn't... I don't know, I haven't really noticed much difference. It is a bit smaller, though. Yeah, the Fold phones are nice. They're cool. And, um... But, yeah, I've, I've seen a lot of... Um, they, apparently, they are quite strong. The hinges and stuff on them now, they're really durable, and the outsides are really good as well. But the screens themselves, you can't mark them with your nail. So, because they're plastic screens, obviously, but, yeah, you can't mark them and everything. They can e easily have dents and stuff in them. Crazy, isn't it, that photo? I was tiny as well. I basically done the close... I, I got the phone about... I don't know, about a centimetre or so away from the end of it. And then I did the free time zoom on top on the last one. I zoomed right into the end of it. It it, it looks, bizarrely, it looks like bread, doesn't it? Yeah, the camera's amazing. I, say, I haven't played around with the super wide mode or anything on it at the moment. But the macro mode is super impressive. And you got free time zoom on the macro mode as well. That's how I did the last one I sent you. But yeah, the, the the screen is it's noticeably smoother. And I there's a couple of uh, 120 hertz games on um, the store. I was uh, playing Doom on it. Yeah, that's the only, apparently they are glass underneath though. That uh, that actual screen. The bends, a part of it is actually glass because if you rip the plastic pieces off it, it cracks the screen underneath. So I, I don't know if they've done it. It's obviously glass, but it's quite foldable. But um, I suppose if I was going to go on Android, I probably would have got one of the foldable phones. But yeah, 120 hertz gaming, I've never seen Doom look so smooth. It's ridiculous. So I think there's definitely something in 120 hertz gaming. It's, it's noticeably smoother than 60. But it's not, it's not like the jump from 30 to 60, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, it's like, a, if you have a look on a guy called Jerry Rig Everything, he does phone tests and he does, um, he does durability tests and teardown tests. On the teardown tests, when you pull, when you pull the plastic off the top of the screen, there's like two layers. On the second layer underneath, you pull it and it, it breaks the screen underneath. It's like, it's almost like a like a flexible, a really thin flexible bit of glass, like I don't know, fiberglass in it. You know, fiberglass cables bend in it as well. They're quite impressive though. The Eva's impressed. Um, he said the other ones, the hinges and our break really easy, but he said these ones, he's impressed how strong the folded ones are. Oh, the um, the OLED screen on this as well, Dando. Uh, Looks amazing. It also takes proper HDR photos. I took a photo of the room downstairs where my mother's sitting down just to test just a normal photo. And I, I didn't realise that it took a proper HDR. And then the light in the room is basically glowing like you see on uh, HDR TV and movies. Yeah, guy, check him out. Jerry Rig Everything. He does loads of phone teardowns and stuff. He's good. Yeah, the screen looks amazing if you're watching um, HDR stuff. I say because there's no OLED, isn't it? But yeah, I, I'm I'm really had a huge amount of time to play around with, it, but it seems pretty awesome. Yeah, my mother wanted me to have a phone, and she's got the 11 now. She was well up for that. <laughs> she always has my old phones. But I only had it yesterday because it came out yesterday, didn't it? So I had it yesterday evening. But I, I will say the screen is sweet. It's crazy when, especially when you unlock, you know, you unlock your phone and all the all the all the tiles they like zoom in, don't they? When you and drop on the screen when you open it, that looks ridiculously smooth now compared to what it looked like before. So it is noticeable. It's crazy. You can scroll as fast as possible. But you can still pick out words of your of emails and texts. Uh, 
That seems good anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to shoot as well. Yeah, cheers for hanging around and chatting. Anyway, you think, oh, buddy, hell, it's uh, 20 past one. <laughs> Time to go to bed, I reckon, as well. Uh, I'll be on tomorrow. I may try and hog a little bit on this section to get a bit more energy, and then uh, maybe carry on tomorrow or something. Right, then. I shall see you guys, and I'll probably catch you on tomorrow. Right. Catch you around. Good night, all. Yeah, catch you tomorrow, man. Uh, find my thing to switch off now. Hey. Right. Night, all. Catch you around.